Hi guys, Retro Django here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be all about the Black Rose from Bell Williams 1992. Yeah, this game, I had this game, I tried it, uh, when was it, 10, over 10 years ago. And from the first try, I just fell in love with this game. It's such a nice pinball machine. Uh, I love the theme, I love the pirate theme. Uh, a lot of combo shots, nice ramps, but the best part, the audio package. I mean, the music on this pin is just amazing. Now, that's my personal opinion. This pinball machine, as you can see, it's stripped off parts. It's the, the condition is not the best, but uh, it is what it is, guys. Let's just take a quick look at how this pinball looks. I mean, it, it, it plays it plays great, and it could be a just you know just a player's pin. But I, I want to uh, clean it up, give it some new rubber, and uh, you know check out the lights and. Uh, yeah, check out the flipper mechanic and, and, and stuff like that. As you can see here, when you buy one of these Bally Williams machines, these two are giving, um, you get power from here. You can see it's burned. From there, it will go through the uh, um, fuses. From there, these, uh, what are they called in English, man? Uh, transistors. <laughs> and if they're not blown, um, it will go from here to the uh, play field and as you can see we have burn connectors they they do melt and burn so uh, this indicates that we will have general illumination issues on the play field and as you can see we already have issues on the back box here a whole row is out so we have some stuff to do over there the battery always look down here no leakage, no nothing. It's just beautiful. So, but I, I'm gonna replace that. Well, that's great. Uh, one other thing, some people love that the serial numbers, as you can see, 47, 47. Uh, where is the numbers on this one, man? 40 this MP, this uh, driver board has been replaced <laughs> so it doesn't have matching serial numbers some people really loves it if your game resets then it has got five volt uh, issues if this one resets then i would just replace well I, I actually just replaced these two caps these two caps this one and the little one over here that always gives me issues this little cap replace that it will just yeah, replace it <laughs> and uh, four bridges these two and these two so just replace them also so you will give the this game quality power all right so let's just check a quick look here it's a dirty game when you want to clean a game like this you have to look at all the stuff beneath the play field because the, ball, the, the, the pinball will fall down and it will get dirty really really fast so we have to go under the play field here we have to go in the back side because you shoot in here you can see it's really really dirty it will have it needs some lights in here they don't work <laughs> um other than that i mean look at how dirty this looks man wow uh, one little thing when you buy a game like this as you can see these big really big inserts most of the um, black roses I have seen, these inserts are worn. I mean, they look really, really bad. And on this one, it looks, I mean, after cleanup, it will look amazing. When the ball shoots from the side there, it will come down with a real fast um, speed and it will hit this little target over here. And it will fall down here at this point. And usually it will be cracked and look really, really bad. But again, this one, it's amazing how well it looks. <laughs> um, the cannon here, it has to work the proper way. Look at how 
dirty it is, but the Canon here is it's really nice, guys. I love that. One thing I, I want to address is this game. As you can see, we have we have a light there, and this is red. We have only one light there, and it's just it 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 has always been an, an irritating point for me because if you look from the middle of the play field, it has got water bluish. And then it goes up and we have the broad side of the enemy ship. You will fight against that. And the artwork, I love it. But down here, um, I love that it's, you know, wood. And it, it gives you a feeling of you're on a ship. <laughs> Nothing to say about that. But general illumination. We have got this little bulb and nothing else under here no lights as you can see here no lights nothing man one bolt here and that's it so at the bottom of the play field and it it comes with you know black um look at how they oh my god yeah a lot of work so i'm thinking i will maybe take the wires from here and give it over here so this one will light up as general illumination uh, maybe i could drill two holes here but it will just destroy the originality so i'm, I'm not that keen about that the reason this one has, has got a red head on and red here and as you can see uh red here red there it's actually when you destroy the ship and you fight and all that then the gi will go out and you will have red GI instead and pulsing effect and real nice effect. I like it, but I, I, I think down here I will maybe I don't know Something has to be done because it's just it's too dark at the bottom So this is just an overview of the playfield. This is how it looks how dirty it looks before I Started cleaning it. I mean look at the dirt man. It's It's just bad Oh, look at this! Yeah. A lot of work, but it's totally worth it because this pinball machine is so fun to play. I love it! Let's just take a look at the left side over here. I mean, all the rubbers, everything is just... <laughs> look this is why we have almost no light i mean look at how dirty it is it's crazy man so why didn't i take this one out to be able to take this one out you have to go inside at the back of the play field let's take a closer look at that so the back box is laid down this is the back side it has got one big metal plate there that I just pulled out and um, <clears throat> this is the rest of this cannon shooter here and I have to disassemble so much to be to, to pull this one out so I'm just gonna leave that in but I'm gonna clean everything I can also in there where the ball uh, pops in I will clean that at the back side, it has actually got, the camera can't pick it up, but down, down there, it has holders for lights there, and it has got holders for lights there, but no bulbs has been inserted. So I will put in light there, so we will have light up effect from the broad side of the enemy ship. And also I will clean this one out also. So. Yeah, it's not just on the playfield here. You have to, I mean, the Black Rose is not an easy game to clean, man. No, it is not. All right, look at the difference now. Look at this, guys. Now it's lit up. This ramp was brown. Now it's white. I mean, nobody's gonna look inside here, but I mean, if you do all the cleaning of the playfield, the ball will ro ro roll over here a lot of times when you play a game so if you don't clean it up it will just look messy 
Now we have also installed the lights in there. So we have light at the left, at the right side also. So I'm just gonna keep on cleaning in here until everything, as, as you can see, still has some, we've got this little trace. I wanna clean everything, just make it look neat. And I will tighten this with the screws also. So yeah, just keep on working. All right, it's cleaned. We have this protector installed, but at the back side of this, it has got two big flashers. Now they're both blown. So I will just put in some new and we're gonna check the flasher, flashers and, and see how the effect is because it's just so sad with non-working flasher. I love flashers in pinball machines. So let's just uh, install some new ones and take them out. Well, we got too much light in the room, so I can't see the flasher effect. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but look at this white ramp at the backside. Look, look, it's so clean now and you can't see it, but oh, the flashers, both of them work inside there. So when it's dark, it will flash like crazy when it shoots the ball like a cannon from the side. Beautiful stuff, guys. <laughs> Here under the apron, it has got this fire button over here and it has a flasher over here. You can also see it by the cable's colors that this is a flasher. So this connector gets 13 volts and this is not a flasher. This one is just a normal bulb we use on, uh, you know, general illumination. This one runs at 6.3 volts. So that's why it's burned. So we have to install a brand new flasher here and get the best effect when you have to shoot the cannon then it will flash here and you can press on that button also make sure that this coil moves freely like this when the ball comes in here it will uh, this switch will be activated and we shoot the ball over here to those two switches and it will be popped out and come out over here yeah just some bonus info I've been lucky with this one because uh, as I can see this one has got some mylar over here, mylar down here and on top of that mylar it has another piece of mylar so it's pretty pretty well protected. Now this is you know this is mylar going this way and this is slingshot mylar going that way and it has got some dirt in between but I'm loving it that it has got this mylar protection. Maybe that's why this game is not, I mean usually they're just these games are usually really, really destroyed down uh, at the flipper area. So, one thing is the upper play field. Other thing is when you shoot into Davy Jones here, uh, you're at the underground here on the, at the bottom side of the play field. So we have to lift the play field up and take a look at the bottom side also. This is the motor for the cannon. Love it. And this, these are some parts that I have to clean. I, there, there, there's just so much cleaning to do, guys. Just what? Here's see. the cannon. It's disassembled, as you can see. The motor is missing, but that's not the important part. What we're looking at here is when we shoot the ball to David Jones, it will, um, it will, uh, the ball will go down here, and from here it will travel from this. Uh, ramp here and into the cannon so if I play, uh, clean the play field wax and do everything correct then I can play 20 games and this one will just destroy everything again the ball will be dirty and the play field will be black again so all of this has to be pulled off off also so everything the ball touches has to be clean guys so when you do stuff like this do it the proper way so why are these two pop bumpers cleaned and this is not well that's because as you can see down here it has some cracks on the plastic and that area is a uh, really really important area when you shoot the ball to get into the broad side sometimes you hit these uh, cannon targets and that would ricochet the ball over here at the pop bumper and it will pop and shoot back here so it can collect 
the stuff over here. So I love the pop numbers on this game. So this one being cracked is not the optimum way to play. So this plastic has to be replaced and it's just a pain in the, yeah, I hate that, but uh, it just has to be done. That's why that's not clean, but I will clean, I will replace it. So yeah, other than that, I think the play field is mm, about 80% done cleaning. Um, so I will, I will just uh, keep on cleaning the rest of the day and end up by putting on thick layer of wax and let it just sit for two days and then I will uh, continue working on this guys I'm just I'm really done for the day <laughs> I'm tired man <laughs> the play field is waxed I actually installed LEDs on the pop bumpers I'm not sure if I like them but I'm gonna experiment a bit uh, I think it looks it looks okay but uh, yeah, I like LEDs, but just not on all all machines. They're, they're different. In Terminator 2, I love LEDs. Yeah. The ramp down here is off. Uh, sorry about my voice. It's it's late. <laughs> um, the ramp underneath is off. Has to be cleaned. As you can see over here. The pop bumper area, upper left, is completely gone, the top part. So I'm going to install a new of these. I hope I can find in white, but it really doesn't matter what color, because one of them is black, the other one is white. So yeah, let's see what I have got. Um, also down here, as you can see, I mean, if, if you do something like this, just do it the proper way. So. I just removed everything. It's a lot, a lot of work. So if you are going to do this with your first pinball, then I don't recommend getting a black rose because, uh, yeah, look at this, guys. It was all black, um, all clean. You can see the trace there down there everything is off one thing that i have to uh, take off also is this little scoop hole shooter thingy because the ball will uh, touch that um, little uh, plunger that plunged the balls up so i want to clean everything the pinballs will touch or this just doesn't give no yeah, you know what I mean. So, yeah, look at this, guys. Uh, the whole cannon assembly is off. Uh, the lights are off. And, yeah, we're going to check these flashers also. I'm going to clean in here. And I found out that um, these lights, they were flaky. And I'm gonna show you tomorrow when we have more light. So uh, I will just call this for a day. Uh, yeah, the old one over here. That's junk. Down here we have some junk parts. And look at this, guys. I mean, wow. It's dead. <laughs> Let's call it a day. Oh yes, two days has passed and I'm just ready and, and filled with energy. So, I took off this little uh, popper at the back. <laughs> this one will shoot the ball up and it was just dirty. Uh, now it's clean, so no issues there. There's a switch leaf also cleaned. But while I was back in here, look at this guys, look at this. It's not even soldered on. So this pump pump bumper has to be soldered here. The bottom one is fine. This one, <laughs> look at this. Yeah, this one needs to be 
cut a new wire and solder on so all the pop bumpers pop as they should man wow <laughs> the wax is dry now and it's time to remove it it's a uh, time consuming process but it is one of my favorite things when you know cleaning pinball machines is to remove the wax and look at a cleared play field instead of the old looks <laughs> I mean I absolutely love doing this Isn't it nice? Look at this. You yeah, actually see the glare on the play field. Wow, really nice. So I will just uh, yeah, keep on doing this. A quick side note when you're out checking some games one thing that I always look after is actually these RAM claps now if the game has got a lot of plays on it I mean the, these games they're 20 30 years old uh, a lot of games it will have a lot of wear on these RAM entering claps here they will be brown they will be rusty they will be scratched they will be bent these two clamping joints will be also destroyed and you can see over here i'm gonna install this one this little ramp over here and if you look let me see the light there we go it needs to have this have this bluish glare then you know that it's a pinball machine with with low low plays on it so yeah just a neat little trick guys i just need to clean this one <laughs> but uh, other than that uh, most of the wax is off and i am as you can see i've installed this and this little davy jones ramp over here and I'm gonna install over here so uh, yeah as you can see it's dark but uh, still working guys still working on it right here there should be a post like this with a little rubber ring on top that was missing so i installed this lovely high polished chrome thingy here and actually used a, a th this rubber is a titan rubber so it's very very durable easy to clean love that stuff now this game comes with um black rubber here and here as you can see i installed my favorite color <laughs> yellow is my favorite color so at the left ramp entrance here i have installed yellow here again it's um, titan it's silicone it's not normal cheap rubber this um the pinball just plays so much better with these silicones man I, I, that that's my personal um opinion and they're so easy to clean it feels like nothing will uh, i mean the dust and uh, crust won't sit here it's just so easy to clean off i always use the yellow ones i know this game should maybe have blue or it has some orange i know but yellow is just my personal favorite color so i use yellows there <laughs> yellows here um Davy Jones yellow at the backside yellow as of right now I am ready to install the uh, ramp for the left side here I'm really looking forward to it uh, also these posts came they have three different levels it was in the middle I took it down here so the exit for the ball uh, here is um, smaller so uh, yeah, so I won't drain that much at the uh, left and right, right out lane. Uh, that's how I like it. Um, so that's how it's done. Look at down here. Everything is just cleaned and polished and just ready to go. Do you like the yellow ones? I do. <laughs>
looks great man so let's go ahead and um, install the right ramp a uh, left ramp also in here installing the lights in there make made a huge difference man i mean the camera can't pick it up but in real deal looks amazing so if you have one of these check it out uh, at the back and install some lights there i mean it's just so yeah, i love it man it, it, it gives you a really nice effect so i will install the left ramp now I'm running a simple flasher test. The right, here at the left, under the ramp, under the ramp, and under here, and under there. All the flashers are also inside here. Works fine, also these two lightning. So the flashers seems all to be fine. So let's just go ahead and to switch chests yeah oh, what is nice beautiful and up here nice. and in here both of them oh that's beautiful man <laughs> everything works also adjusted these really light touch and they work oh nice man the bumpers nice <laughs> i love when when everything is just adjusted and you know just a slight touch and it registers really really nice man also when adjusting these don't do it with your finger you have to use a pinball and it has to say something both ways this way and that way easy now <laughs> beautiful stuff okay it's late i'm done for today so tomorrow i am thinking about installing everything on the right side here at top i have to install some more plastic parts here then this upper left corner should be done <laughs> man look what i just found found this gate and it will co only uh, shoot the ball this way and not the other way back and this one should actually be installed under this one and this hole over here so this one should be installed here but that must be uh, something for tomorrow I actually found out that this one it has got a short screw so I don't think that there should be anything over here this one just goes down underneath here and held by a screw but the thing is I remember that the uh, or original <laughs> design the space between this target and this one if this is non-existing then the ball can actually get trapped in here and push this one down here so this little mod that I have done, I will not remove it. I will just put this under down there and um, make sure that the bolt won't get trapped over here. So it's just a mod that I'm doing. But if you have trouble with your game, then you can do something similar like this. Yeah, and there we go. Couldn't wait till tomorrow. So now the gate is installed. So someday when I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna ask the buyer if I should remove this because this should not be there. It's just a mod that I have done again because of the space between here. But yeah, it doesn't uh, it doesn't irritate me, man. I installed these two pirate, this pirate and the other plastic over here, the parrot. So. Uh, All right, the upper left side is done, all cleaned. And as you can see, the right side is, has still a lot of parts missing. So the next part I'm gonna work on is actually down here. I'm gonna assemble everything here and at the outlines, and then jump over to 
this issue over here the pump bumpers has to be fully fully working i love that in a pinball machine so uh yeah that's the next part guys uh i should have liked the yellow rubber titan rubber that i installed i like it um the bulbs uh, they have not been checked so we can have a lot of dead bulbs under the play field but uh, yeah let's keep on working i mean to remember the start of the beginning of this video it was just all black down here now it's uh, now it's super nice man Pop bumpers are all done. I chose a blue dash purplish one down here. So it works great. So we have purple here, uh, black here. I, I always like this man. You know, Belly Williams, the same, I know, but these early 90s belly games they had different pop bumpers almost all williams games had had the same type of pop bumper but yeah look, look at this guys it's it's fun the sound is also different with this one and i mean leaves fully adjusted Everything clean, they are just powerful and they, they, they just work. I like it like that. <laughs> and the right frame. I also want to tell you guys, when you do something like this, go ahead, lift the play field up and tighten all the screws that holds, uh, you know, post targets like here, here here and the little one over here this one was really loose so that means if the ball hits this one and it's loose then it will wobble left and right up and down whatever and at the end it will destroy the wood on the play field so tighten everything not not break it but you know tighten so nothing is loose or floppy everything is just i went through and secured everything that nothing is wobbly it just sits perfect <laughs> that's that that's something that i love to do everything is just tight and neat so the next part something is missing the next part is look at these flippers man i mean they can go up and down and wobble to the sides and these flippers i mean this is the control of the game rebuild it just buy new stuff and you know this will give you 100 percent better gameplay so let's take these off and replace them with brand new kits i love to do that I, not the work but the gameplay <laughs> all right so the flippers as you can see here lower right lower left has to be 29s and the upper right here has to be a 30 so if you look at here as you can see the upper right coil is the model number 30 but up here it has to be 29 but the previous owner has installed the 30 now the 30 is not as powerful as the 29 that means this won't shoot maybe the ram shot will go halfway up and down and they just have to be 30 uh, 29 uh, just like this one as you can see this is fl 11 629 so this one is the correct coil but this one has to be 29 that i have to replace that so let me tell you a bit about coils so if the uh, oh, I don't, if the sleeves can get in and out easily uh, then you don't have to replace them these coils that they're usually fine one thing the sleeves when they look like this you just throw them out and put in new that will give you a bit more power you want powerful flippers next part the coil stop it's all mushy look at this this is done output the, 
replace this one and make sure it's not wobbly like this make sure this one isn't wobbly replace the bushing this plastic bushing some of you guys just skip that and just replace this then it will have this wobbly effect so out with that plastic and the most important part this plunger look at this this one has been filed because it has been destroyed it had a mushy mushy head and the previous owner just filed it uh, and it's just it has got this edge that means that it doesn't run proper when you push those flipper buttons um, man this one has to be replaced really really bad, bad flippers and also the end of stroke when you do uh, this movement these two you have to clean or replace so when you just shoot you shoot with high voltage i don't remember i think it was 70 or 75 volts and um, when you hit the end of stroke here then it will cut high power and you, if you hold down the flipper buttons uh, it will run with lower voltage i think it's 25 or 30 volts i don't remember but if these doesn't work and you just hold down the flipper then you will burn your coil trust me it will melt <laughs> so make sure that these end of stroke switches that they work perfect man that's important okay yeah here you can see why it's so important with the bushing look, look, look at this guys it's all broken this one should be this one be should be uh, sitting on here the previous owner has tried to glue this and it, there are just so much vibration so much power every time you flip so don't glue don't do stuff like that this costs i don't know what they cost but just replace them okay replace them this one's gonna be washed also just want to have it clean so yeah um and here we can see i just removed everything i will try to yeah clean it a bit the hole for the flipper here <laughs> um, yeah it takes a lot of time but when you're done with it when you put on that glass start up start up a new game then you will have much much for uh, fun playing the pinball machine I, I i just love it man now metal that goes into a plastic tube i see this often when i buy old pinball machines people <laughs> lubricate stuff like this but metal against plastic don't lubricate that the bushing here it's metal on plastic don't lubricate that metal on metal of course lubricate it but metal against plastic just leave it alone clean everything install new parts and it will run amazing so no oil in these pinball machines now can you see this little metal part that's the part that will go in and activate the end of stroke can you see that so it makes an error when i turn the game on and says uh, the end of stroke is not activated and look at this that metal part that should be down there and push these two leaves is broken off so this coil has got a really hard life so i'm gonna check it out you can measure it um, with ohms and stuff like that don't want to be that technical but um, also see if it can make the right loop um, but i have to replace this metal part uh, with a new one that has got an arm that will you know press these two leaves together that i mean that's really important with these old bell williams games that all the end of strokes are fully working go ahead and check your machines guys it's it's important okay one last thing about the leaves if uh, one thing is they have to work but if they're not adjusted correct if they get activated too early 
then it will cut the high power to the flippers. That means your flippers won't be that powerful when you are playing your games. So the timing is also important. So it has to cut the power at the end of the stroke. Just a little bonus. All right, new bushing installed. This is going to make this game shoot like new again. <laughs> so that's great, man. I love it. So always remember to replace this when you restore your old Williams machines. Okay, this old thing, as I said earlier, it has to be replaced and the coil stuff also. I have some new parts over here. When you make a flipper rebuild, you'll install one of these, brand new. No mushroom, no nothing. It will just collide perfect inside this little tube, brand new course and a new coil stop nice a new spring to uh, make the flipper snappy again and a new end of stroke now this is uh, you get this included with the, when you buy one of these kits today but these new end of strokes as you can see it's just a little thingy there that has to touch these new ones they are absolutely garbage so i won't install that i will just keep the original i cleaned it adjusted everything it's perfect these are um, don't use them some cheap yeah but uh, everything else is brand new and perfect and when this one installed the flippers will be great again all right let's compare these two Yeah, this is the old one. There we go. <laughs> that last time it hit the end of stroke. This is the new one. Clean inside, new coil stop, all washed and cleaned. Look at this guy. Snappy, perfect. This is going to shoot like crazy. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side. Here is the indication that this coil has been overheated and it's melted inside. Look at this. It won't let me uh, pull out the... Uh, it's all the stock, man. I can't do anything with it. That means this one has got some severe damage inside and it needs to be replaced. I mean, it's just... It's just melted, man. It's crazy. So this whole thing. Also, look at the coil stuff over here. Uh, this is broken inside and it's just wobbly. Everything has to be replaced. <laughs> this is junk, man. This is garbage. And just look at this coil. This will create friction because of the mushroomed head. And this is just, I mean... It's all done. Um, yeah. Look at this, guys. This coil stop is definitely dead. So, yeah, a lot of new parts has to be installed, of course, and the bushing here has to be replaced also. It's just, it's gone. <laughs> it's too wide, man. Yeah, everything brand new installed, not uh, soldered in place, but they're just installed and they are snappy everywhere. Oh, that's so nice. As you can see, the old coil is still hanging there. So to be able to adjust the coil, I have to install the cannon. I have to install the uh, underground passage and down here. The ball drops here to go into Davy Jones. As you saw at the beginning of this video, that part was all black. There we can go. It's all shiny, cleaned. <laughs> the ramp is clean, so everything is just cleaned and ready to be installed. 
This is going to be awesome. So the David Jones assembly, the ball drops down here, travels all the way here at this underground ramp and goes into this cannon assembly. Now, if you're new into this, take a lot of pictures when you wanna disassemble the cannon. You have to open this one, clean all the gears, lubricate it. Also open here because when the ball comes, it gets, it gets feed by here. And as you can see, the cannon is traveled to the left side. That means it has a chamber where the ball goes in at the right side. And if the cannon is the other way, it will travel here. So we have a lot of ball movement travel inside the cannon. So you have to open and disassemble everything and clean everything in there also. Also inside here, you have some switches. These switches will also touch the ball. So we have a switch here, we have a switch down there. So go ahead and remember to clean everything the pinballs touches on its path. So this cannon assembly has to move really smooth to the sides. You have to make sure that uh, the cannon, uh, the coil in here is measured, it's cleaned, new coil stock, the plunger is perfect. Everything has to be checked guys. So it's a lot of work, but at the end of the day, the cannon is just the main thing of the game so uh, why not make it work a hundred percent we have these sink ship inserts beneath they are pretty flaky they don't they don't work every time so what i'm going to do is um you can check a lot of stuff but one of the main issues with a 30 year old game is stuff like this cold solder joints when they're flaky, you can actually, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but can it zoom in? No, it can't. Can you see here? I can wiggle everything. <laughs> so the boards will be like this. Um, they work sometimes and I want to touch the cables. It will work as soon as I just move my hand, finger again, then it will just go dead again. So I have to check out all the boards. So that means... <laughs> The connectors here for this board, this board, that board, this board, all the boards, they have to be reheated. Get brand new solder so stuff like this doesn't happen. I mean, 30 year old, you can see the cracks there, guys. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I have a lot of soldering work to do. Also, yeah, the cables here for the cannon, I did cut, the end of strokes is cut. So, a uh, brand new coil there, they have to be soldered. So working on old games, you have to have some sort of soldering skills. That's that's a must, guys. So uh, yeah, go ahead and buy a really nice soldering iron. Uh, so you have, oh, I love this, man. I, I can't wait to play this game, man. I can't wait. <laughs> Another chip with this game. You have to make sure that the wood and the plastic is just perfect adjusted. If it's too low, you will crack here. Um, if it's too high, you will crack the plastic because you have so much ball movement down here. So make sure that this one is adjusted perfect all the way around. And I'm gonna show you how, right here, you have three of these where you can adjust here and over there and down at the bottom. Those three, you have to adjust it so everything is just perfect. So again, when you disassemble something like this, make sure to, to adjust everything. Make sure to take a lot, a lot of pictures so you know how everything goes back in. Uh, also the assembly here. Um, but at the end of the day, it's really, really important that that the top of the cannon is perfect with the uh, playfield wood. So uh, yeah, that will give you the best gameplay. So the flippers are tightened. Now I argue with my best friend about how this should be. My idea is like this, these 
two over here has to be at the beginning of the rubber. That's how I uh, adjust them. And then make sure when you take them up, they're aligned and here aligned. Make sure when the ball comes down here, when it makes the jump from metal to um, rubber, that it doesn't make, uh, it, that it doesn't fall down or make a hop. It has to go just fluid, you know? So this is aligned, it, it's just, it's perfect. All right, I'm soldering. As you can see, these two, they have brand new, fresh solder on them. Look at this, this one is cracked. The key and this one's also cracked so i will put brand new solder on them also and then all the lights will work perfect there is actually another old trick um, if your bolts still have no contact as you can see here this one is scratched down here but this one i just put on some fresh solder on it there so you can actually go ahead and do the same down here also, let me see if, if I could do it with one hand. No, I can't. <laughs> so if you just put some solder here, then it will have better contact. Just like this. Look at the difference, guys. Now it will work. I'm sure of it. All right, guys. Black Rose, Bella Williams, 1992. It's done. It's ready. It's all cleaned, it has brand new wax, flippers completely rebuilt, end of stroke, everything is just perfect. As you can see, sync ship works also great as of right now. Uh, it's such a nice, I don't know what I could call it, it's just such a nice feeling to have this 30 year old game and just refurbish everything and just make it all fully working giving it new life i love everything about it i just want to end this video by saying thank you for watching this video it was a long video but i really really hope you learned something if you did learn something write it down in the comments below if you don't agree with me with some of our methods write it down in the comments below then maybe i can learn something for you and Thank you for supporting this channel by watching my videos, my pinball videos. I just opened a Patreon account. If you want, if you want to support this channel, go on in at the uh, comments down below. You can see the link to my Patreon page. There you can give me a small donation and support this channel to make more of these kind of videos. I want to say thank you from bottom of my heart. Thank you guys. So I'm just gonna play for a minute or two. So let's give it a try. Come on, baby. Yeah. Oh, I love the music. Plays amazing, man. It plays amazing. So powerful flippers. Every switch work. Just feels good. It's a good show. Give him a taste of iron, boy. Yeah. Oh, those pop uppers.
I love that loop. That loop is amazing. So sing is on, SH is on, then I just want two letters, I and P, and then I can, let's see if I can do it. Let me show it to you. Oh no. Draw time, no. Close, but no strong. There we go. Okay. Put on the hour of my God, man. All right. Oh, oh. One level, I love the bank. The wind now shows black. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Light jackpot, alright. And we got our sunflower flip track. Combo, combo, combo. Oh, this is one. Yeah. Cross like two million dollars. Oh, I love this game. I love this game. Oh. Oh, hard to win combo. Wow. Wow. Such a nice game, man. I love it. The theme, everything, it just speaks to me. Shoot again. Alright. There we go. Alright. Let your aim be true. Yo, the oh, 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 oh. Flippers are so strong, too strong, as you can see the ball flies off. Oh my goodness. Down here we have this little cannon. So when this one, there's a flasher here that flashes, and you just push here, and the cannon will shoot. Such a nice feeling. So the next thing will actually be um, the back box. As you can see, it's on the lid at the left side. I have to repair the plug, so I have light on the right side. And when all that is done. I am actually going to order different color LEDs, but before all of that, before all of that, I'm gonna play this game for some time because I love this game. It just, it, it hypes me up. I don't know why this is still, I mean, if we go 
10 years back, this game, uh, Black Rose, High Speed 2, The Shadow, um, Bram Stoker's Dracula, games like that, they were so cheap. And this was also in that ca category. Uh, Congo was also cheap, Flintstones was cheap, Popeye was a joke, um, Demolition Man was cheap, you know, games from that era. This one was uh, included with those titles, really cheap game. And uh, I, the first one I got for many, many years ago, it was so, so cheap, guys. I paid 5,000 Danish crown or that's like that's uh, 800 euros or something like that. And uh, it was together with other cheap games I had. Um, I bought it just after I got the Dracula. And I was just in shock. Back then, I, really, I couldn't understand why this game was so cheap. Uh, I didn't like the back box because the back box, as you can see, the speakers are up at the top and it didn't align with other Bella Williams games I had. I, I never liked it. But let me tell you one thing. Having the speakers up there, there's just something magical about the sound quality. You can't hear it, of course, but the real deal, volume at setting uh, 12 and just enjoy this game. 50% of gameplay is the audio and the other 50 is video. I don't understand. YouTube reviewers say uh, music, that's just 5% of it. No! The audio part is 50% of the gameplay. 50 uh, visual, 50 um, audio. So this game has got amazing music. I love it. And the speakers up there, still, I think that back box is ugly, but the music sound quality is great today is 2021 it's not a cheap game anymore high speed 2 is not cheap the shadow is actually a bit more expensive than this one um, so everything is up in price but this one is still a lot of value for your money guys get one of these while they're still cheap <laughs> uh, you will have such a fun with this game I, I i i absolutely love it so i want to say again thank you for watching i hope you will support my channel guys uh, I, I really appreciate it so have a great day out there and i'll see you on the next video bye